I'm Nachola the Drawer, an artist and adventurer from the UK. Let's get creative. Hello, today I'm doing a roll. We cleaned the wall, we painted the wall with base coat, and now I'm going to do a doodle grid. Never done a doodle grid before, in fact I'd say I am a drawer who doesn't like doodling because I very much think out my pieces before I do them rather than just do whatever. The doodle grid I'll probably find quite difficult. But I'm going to spray it red today because we're not using any red in the mural and let's see how it goes. So time to doodle! Let me explain how the doodle grid works. The aim is to fill the space with different shapes or lettering, whatever you would like to fill your canvas with and this is then used like a grid. These doodles are then used as reference points. So I will then take a photo of the doodle grid and an image of my design and overlay that on the doodle grid. There are a couple of ways you can do this. You can do that on Photoshop or you can use an app on your phone. I use Blend Editor. You can change the opacity of your image on top of the doodle grid so therefore you'll be able to see more reference points for your drawing. Day one done! Uh, two figures drawn and the rest to go. See you tomorrow! Hello! As you can see it is a lovely sunny day. I got two characters done and now I'm going to sketch out the other two, so let's get sketching. Here I'm using my phone with the image of my design overlaid on the doodle grid and then looking at the wall and seeing where the lines, where it connects. So on the dog ear, that's where the nose is, the head reaches all the way to the M of smile and then just joining all the dots up to make sure my figures are in the right place and right proportion. Church bells, you can tell we're in the countryside. The same as any other painting, you want to make sure you've got a good sketch, a good drawing down as a base before you start applying all the colours. So here I'm trying to get in as much detail as possible, making sure that I know where all my different painting colours are going to go. And then moving on to the next drawing, my final figure, and then it will be time to add some colour. Okay, so it's time to put the background colour, which is blue. The way I designed this mural was to have a completely the same colour on the background. It was a hot day, there's a lot of blue to cover, so I had to get some help. We're just going around the figures that I've sketched out and blocking in all the blue, so it'll have a nice flat blue background. So we've started on the background, some blue, and I painted a bit of myself too. It was super hot, but just keeping going, getting in all of that background colour, because when it was done, it was time for an ice cream break. So this is the doodle grid, the background colour, we got four girls, now let's do the rest. Yesterday we managed to get a couple of the colours on. I was colour blocking each of the colours in all of the characters so then all of the wall was covered. So let's skip forward a little bit. And now it's time to get more detail in the background. I'm masking out the rays of the sun, ready to paint them. We can't ignore the clouds in the background of this though. Look at them moving! We on the last background. Let's go. We 
we have finished all of the background today. We've got spring with her clouds, summer with her sun rays, we have autumn with her rain, da -da -da. and we have winter with the snow. <laughs> So today we are going to be doing some of the details on the mural. A bit of different weather to when I started this mural. I'm in full on hoodie, hat, dungarees. Um, but it's all weather painting, apart from torrential rain. We've got all the backgrounds, we've got the main characters. We're just going to add a little few more details um, onto the piece. So let's get painting. Here I'm starting to use the chalk to draw out the pattern on the swimsuit, which is sharks. What is better than sharks on a swimsuit? When they're finished, you'll see there'll be smiling sharks because I think sharks get a bad reputation. And now we're on to winter and some beautiful white snow leopard print. These will also have smiley faces in, so look out for them at the end. Here we've got the beautiful blue raindrops and they will have smiley faces in too, so keep watching. And spring has beautiful smiling daisy chain. Can you remember making a daisy chain when you were a kid? You might have guessed it, but this mural is inspired by the seasons and it's called Embrace the Seasons. Final few details now, getting in all those little extra bits and making sure it's perfect for the final reveal. I'm finished! <laughs> Let me know which is your favourite season, spring, summer, autumn, winter, and which is your favourite character. I love doing this one, it's a reminder to embrace every season, get out there and make the most of it. Don't forget to subscribe and ring the bell. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know in the comments below if you try the Doodle Grid. I'd love to know what your experience is too. And don't forget to smash the like button. And I look forward to seeing you for the next creative adventure.